mentioned though, we want to go through and have a look at starting to put our website together or more specifically start to have a look at how we can add a page, an event type configuration for what I'll call a sales page around the event or a blog post. And the reason I'm saying all three is they're fundamentally set up the same, but we're just going to set up starting from a blog. So on your, on your top menu, you've actually got website or website admin, normally the way that we've configured it. And you'll be able to see that you come down and you've got blogs on the left hand side and in if we don't get to for this um, discussion we're going to sort of try and keep it reasonably sharp and not get into too much complexity but you can have a number of different blog types so for me here at Vuente we're sort of trying to obviously show you how to use the system as uh, simply as possible so we've got at this point of discussion I've got three different blog types which can be represented on the website so for example you might have in your industry um, a message you want to talk to for different age brackets so different age brackets different um, problems or solutions that you're providing I'd sort of steer towards that this is actually keyword rich as well and inside you can come into the tags which is starting to move again towards your internet your SEO and things like that. So what is it that your keywords that you're actually trying to support? For us, Vuente, as we know now, is built on the back of a no-do system and we're trying to find a community out there on the planet that's pursuing training and documentation support for Odoo. So that's it. so we go back up into the posts, you can start to see my mouse has got the right hand button there. And you can start to create a sample post. You can do sort of really it's whatever you choose now there's two ways to start there's either here to create a blog post or there's on the front now I actually prefer to do it from the front end myself so if we if we sort of now go to and find our website mm -hmm. yeah got that so we're often the reason I try and do that is it's it if we start from inside the system versus outside this on the actual website it actually brings a lot more complexity to it and it's probably easier to get and understand so on the front you can see myself I haven't actually got it set up there but what we'll do is we'll just I've got a few different blog types here and I'm just going to pause for a moment and um, I'll sort of set up this other computer so one minute yeah, so so what we what we can do now is just sort of set up a little bit differently over on the other computer, and we're going. For me, I'm trying to do a lot of these as video tutorials or guides or what he, what you'd like it to call. Now we've come here and we can see all of our latest posts, and you'll notice here that this has got a little triangle, and that triangle is actually defining that it's not yet published. Okay, so we'll go here. We'll go and have a look at this one. Right, so you can see here up in the top corner that you've got your not published and you can also see underneath you can edit or duplicate. To publish it, all you have to do is simply click the button and now that's live on the web. So I'll, I'll unpublish this again for the record. But now let's say we want to edit it. Now when I go into editing mode, it's consistent if you're building a, a website page mm -hmm. or a post or an event promotion, yep. they're all doing exactly the same thing. The, the functionality is fundamentally going to the edit mode yeah and then we on, over on the right here we've got what what do we want to drag in so we've got different images yeah and got to all different layouts or styles and put so you've got headlines and content or words as a template and I'm just going to delete these as I go through in fact I'll just drag that down a little bit so I'll just delete them out as I illustrate a few of the different variables that we can have and have big pictures sort of put in there mm -hmm. and your sky blue for our argument's sake might go into something like that. Yep. Yeah. You can have different columns like you might have different features or what have you happen and put your own images into there so you can sort of start to add in here mm -hmm. through your, yeah. And again I'll I've found, see, like if you can actually click, because it's got the three, you've got like small boxes, I'll call it. You could delete that and you could just use two and resize it. Yeah. So you might have now two. So there's two. If you want, like for me now, I'm only illustrating, so 
I'm going to actually want it. I've, I've clicked on the left hand or the right hand side to grab the whole section. Mm -hmm. And now I can just delete that as well. If I undo it up the top for the moment, you can actually, what, you can start to move these up and down the page. Yeah, so it's sort of simply drag and drop. You can watch the purpley pinky colored line. Yeah. Oops. You can duplicate it like that's simply a copy of, and that would, that's now doubled up, so you might want to use the same feature twice. Mm -hmm. We'll get rid of that. Is there anything? Click on this one. Is there anything on that area that you? No, no, that makes sense. Yeah. Is there any anything else that is sort of popping up at the start? So where do I do my? That's for a blog. So. So look, that's probably enough for now, but any of those drag and drops you can find in here, you can sort of have a play around and have a look at all your different social icons if you're stuck in into Facebook and Twitter and those sort of things. You've got your social icons happening oh, here. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So that's sort of all the links straight in there. But look for now. Where was that just, one? That's in here for your social icons. Okay. Oops. So that you can always just have a look through and a drag and drop and a play around. Yeah. You can actually start to bring in later on. We're going to be able to bring in pop ups and yeah. campaigns where you've got like, cons you know, um, yeah, when when somebody when you add a new post, they'll actually join on. Where did I just have that social share there? That was a social share, yeah, oh, button. So, upcoming business events, yeah, and yeah, but look. Let's just, we'll, so we'll move on from this. I will discard the changes. I won't keep any of the changes that we've made for now. Right. Yeah. Otherwise you would save them. Yeah. You've got all your fonts and different colors and way that you configure. You've got your link builder, add an image. Yeah. Up the top, yeah. Up the top. I found that easy to use, yeah. yeah. So now if we're looking at events, and I'll just go into my events for the moment. And fundamentally the same drag and drop. So if we, we're coming into this one more specifically now. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if I wanted to actually start, so this is, this is a little bit of me doing the draft. In fact, I'll actually unpublish it while I'm here. You can go, this will take you straight to the background. Yep. So things like your pricing and your descriptions and things like that, you would do via the edit mode. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So simply click that and we'll have a look at that later if you choose. But, but again, like the wet, the, page builder and the um, post builder, the blog post builder, you click on your edit button and there's all your drag and drops again yep. for what your event might be all about. Okay, yep. so you put on that page. Yeah. Now, if, if I can, based on what you've said, this is probably a little bit me and I don't want to over confuse it, but I'll show you what I'm doing myself for this discussion. Does that make enough sense while we're on that yep. events area? Yeah. So I actually see that it's, if, if you're running a one-off event and it's very specific, then I would say that that model of thinking is quite good. Mm -hmm. That that actually, for the record, is the same as we'd have on an e-commerce site. But for me, I've been, I've been putting together a slightly different way of getting to the event promotion. Now, I'm, if I look at it, the model of thinking is let's say that we're on our home page and we're promoting our events we've got a standard page coming through so if I, I just want to click it through so I've, it's just well so I've created what I'll call an event based page mm -hmm. yeah a promotional page that will take me to what I'll call the desired point yeah does that make sense so mm -hmm. If I go and edit this now, this actual page, and put a button into the event, I would have to copy the top. Uh, yeah, discard that. So I need to. So I'm going to go to my train event. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to the actual. I'm going to,
Well, I'm just going to, on the recording, I'll just actually note up to that when you actually want to create a new page up in the top right hand corner, mm. you might have a new page, a new post, a new event, or Where's irrelevant that? in the top right hand corner under content. content. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I can so put in a new page before it, which is. Correct, straight from your dashboard there as such. Okay. So yep, now, yeah, keep going. Mm. Now just mm -hmm. while you're tapping away there, you can see that you've actually got a tick box here and it says add to menu. Now if you as soon as you push continue, so we'll continue that for a moment. But what you'll note that it's come up there on the Correct. And that's because that tick was ticked. Okay, so if I go so, back. So let's, so I'm just going to discard that because I've built the page. Yeah. But you can't go, it's no longer can you go back, you've actually built it. Add page and menu, good Correct. example of what not to do. What not to do, but but that's okay. That's okay. okay. So what we do is we've got the sample page here yep. because we forgot to untick. Mm -hmm. We can actually go into our content, we can go to edit menu, mm -hmm. click on edit menu, and in here you start to see... Now for myself, you can see down the bottom you've got the save button. Yep. My experience myself is that if I don't see that and I start to make these changes, I can't actually drill down and find that. So it, you can simply come in here, you can edit that menu that you've created. Yep. You know, so I can change the name. But at this point in time, we didn't actually intend to add the menu, mm -hmm. so we can simply delete it. Yep. Yeah. So I'm going to save that. So the menu's on the top. Yep. So now I've just got to go back to training events, new page, and just not tick in the menu. Correct. But now you've you've actually so built that page. page but you've actually built that page. But I deleted it. No, you didn't. So you haven't actually deleted the the, the page. You've only removed it from the menu. Okay. Let me have. So you probably at this point of discussion you would back go back in your back bar up in the top of call of the screen for the recording and go again so we can find that page that you had okay i'll just pause this and find this page that we've lost so i just wanted to jump in back in as well so you've been on your website and you're building your page and you haven't actually added it to the menu which means in a lot of ways you're lost yeah, so what we've got here is that we can actually start to come back into the into the background and find it, whether you've got website up here, website admin, or um, yeah, marketing. You're going to be able to go and look for your website pages, your pages here, and then click on the link there, and you'll be able to find the relevant page that you want. Now, it's probably a little bit techy, but um, we can sort of, you can see here is what you're actually going to have to copy and paste into. So you can go into here, you can copy that up onto the top URL bar, I'll call it. You've got to have, well, I'm not going to be able to show you on there, but you've got to have, so your domain name, page, and then, sorry, just bear with me. You've got to have just that bit there has mm -hmm. to be highlighted with page up in between. Yep. So I've just done that above for everyone else watching the video. We'll go enter. And actually, I don't know whether this is better. Okay, so that's um, just a sample page that I've put up for you. Now, if we wanted to actually if we didn't have that, or now we can copy that URL, I'll call it. We can. I've just copied the whole domain name up the top. I go into content, and I want to add this page now to my website menu. So, so I come into here. I go start. I'm going to close that off for a minute. Add a new entry. Yep. What do I want to call it? About us. Okay. And I just paste that back into there. However, you don't f actually need all of that. If you do, yeah. 
Okay, if you do use all of that in the early days when it's a brand new system that you've signed up for, and then we change your domain name later on, that will be, so that doesn't have to be there. So we just save that. Again, we, if we want it to open into a new window, which I would suggest not most of the time. So I'll save, I'll save. Now it's refreshing its whole self and it'll come back up here into the top. Mm -hmm. So let, let's just say that we actually wanted that to be underneath here. So we can actually drag that underneath and again save. Mm -hmm. yep. But traditionally, I'm just going to lay this out in a way that might be that might be a traditional website layout. So I'm just going to save that there. As I'm working on my template for you who might watch this video next, but um, basically that's how we've been putting together a, and building a page from basics. And uh, what I normally sign off with is to say to your success and bye for now. So, Arrivederci. Thank you.